Howdy guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the rotation feature located on cut property bar. And this will be for TrueCut already works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, if we head back in the program here, now just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the uh, cut property bar. And I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. So now the rotation is really um, pretty straightforward. So you obviously need your object or your shape selected, but as uh, something to keep in mind, like in the previous video, which I, I didn't cover there because we haven't covered the rotation yet. But you can set the origin rotation point for the shape as well, or for rotating as well. So obviously to, to do that, we just go here to the origin. You select that and you select the new origin point. But currently, it will be rotating around the shape. Now, if we just had to change this in degrees, so let's say we make this 15 degrees. If you hit enter, you will see it actually goes counterclockwise and it resets your your rotation degrees because it sees this now as a new shape so now the rotation is back to zero so to set that back the other way you'll have to go minus 15 and then it goes clockwise so um it's just a few things to keep in mind like that so like i said it resets it after you set it so you can't see the value you've rotated to it just sets it and then um, you must kind of remember if you wanted to set it back Otherwise, that is the new zero for the object. And then the other one is obviously you can change your um, rotation or your, your transform origin. So now we can kind of rotate like a door around this point. So let's say we go about 45. And you can see now it's rotating around this point. So to get back, we go minus 45. And... Uh, yeah, something went weird there. <laughs> I'm sure our object moved. In any case, it should be rotating around origin point. Unless I am missing something here. Let's try that again. 45. So that is origin point. That is right. Now let's try minus 45. Okay, see, so once we do the minus amounts, it seems to... Okay, the origin is right. 10. And there's right. So I'm not sure what's happening there should be staying consistent throughout the um throughout the orange point but for some reason when i do it at a higher value it seems to throw it off fortunately i'm not going to be troubleshooting it in this video but um yeah in theory that's how it should work so you can select a shape use your rotation and degree amount so you can uh, and then also you should be able to set the origin point of what you wanted to rotate around Otherwise, that is it on rotation using your cut property bar. If we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also, you can isolate your search here on the top right. If you do not, however, find the video you're looking for, just go here, request a training video, then we'll make that video for you. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.